All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to work on the being led by the Spirit of God. The Bible tells us that those that are led by the Spirit are the sons of God. And that's where I want to begin, and I mm -hmm. want to build there, mm -hmm. showing you the importance and the meaning of being led of God. You know, there's a lot of men saying they're led by God to do this and led by God to do that. Well, we're going to go to school today and uh, we're going to see what God do and what God don't do. Because the worst thing that anyone can do is blame their conduct, their deeds, their words on God when he said nothing and then order you to do nothing. All right, let's go to work in the Bible. I want to take my time and trail this from Old Testament to New, so listen clearly and listen good. All right, follow me. In the book of Romans chapter 8, and we'll start reading at verse 13. Yes. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. Uh -huh. But if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. Yes. And verse 14. For as many as are led. For as many as are led. By the Spirit of God. By the Spirit of God. They are the sons of God. Well, if you focus on the language of Brother Paul. Not at no time did he say, everybody is led. No, no. Listen closely at what he said. For as many. For as many. As are led. That means those that are led of God mm -hmm. are the sons of God. That's right. God don't lead everybody. That's right. Amen. Have you ever met somebody, they always have this overdose of religiousness in them. I mean overdose. You can't even have a decent conversation with them without them saying hallelujah on the most basic things. You ask them, what did you eat today? Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. How you feel today, brother? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Car break down on the side of the road. Brother, can I give you a hand? I'm telling you, brother, Jesus is coming. The Lord is, I'm just going, I'm going I'm, to I'm stay here until the Lord come fix my car. You see, that's, <laughs> oh, glory to the Father. That's right. Now, being led of God also incorporate the definition of zeal in the book of Romans chapter 10 I want you to follow me I have to incorporate zeal in this that's right because zeal is a major factor to our spiritual growth and our spiritual failure Right. I want everybody to get this now. Get it. In the book of Romans chapter 10, we'll start at verse 1. Uh -huh. Brethren, my heart's desire. Brethren, my heart desire and prayer to God. Prayer to God. For Israel for is. For his people that is that they all. Might be saved. Might be saved. For I bear them record. I bear them record. That they have a zeal of God. But what is the problem? But not according to knowledge. Now, I want to wrestle with this very good. <laughs> I want to wrestle with this and pin you down with Bible. And hopefully you are given to the submission of Scripture. That's right. When any man or any woman is overzealous. You got a problem on your hands. That's right. I don't care who they are. I don't care how old or how young or how long they've been saved. That's right. 
Do you know when you have a zeal not according to knowledge, That's which right. means this, you're pursuing God ignorantly. That's right. You're going after God ignorantly. That's right. You're venturing out for the things of God ignorantly. That's right. Your whole function is done in ignorance. For they because you ignorant. have you have no teaching, mm -hmm. you're not being guided, you're not being led. Right. All right, what you have, son? Romans chapter ten. Now we're at verse three. Uh -huh. For they being ignorant, they being ignorant of God's righteousness. Glory to God of the right ways of God. And going about to establish going about their, own, their righteousness. own righteousness. Have not submitted themselves. They have not submitted themselves. Unto the righteousness of God. So this is what zeal without knowledge will do. That's right. Now when you're led by the yeah. Spirit. By the Spirit. Let's define led by the Spirit, and I will incorporate that mm -hmm. with zeal. Led by the Spirit have a twofold meaning, brothers and sisters. That's right. Led by the Spirit is when God Almighty, the eternal God, can move on you to do something. That's right. Led by the Spirit also is when you follow the instruction of Scripture. That's right. How was that, Pastor Jennings? Mm -hmm. Because Spirit is the nature of God. Mm -hmm. Spirit is also the speech of God. The words that I speak unto you. Jesus said. In the book of St. John chapter 6 and at verse 63. In John 6. Verse 63. 63 says. It is the spirit that quickeneth. It is the spirit. It is God that revive. It is God that wake you up. The flesh profiteth nothing. Flesh don't mean nothing. The words that I speak unto you. Glory to God. The mm -hmm. words. The speech. The instructions. Mm -hmm. The counsel. Mm -hmm. That what? That I speak unto you. That I speak unto you. They are spirit. Those same words are spirit. And what will they give you? And they are life. Now. So when you hear what's written in the scriptures. Right. And follow what's written in the scriptures. Right. You are being led by the by spirit. The spirit of God that authorized the scriptures. That's right. Now sometime the spirit can move you to do something mm -hmm. without you going to the scriptures. That's right. Do you see what I'm telling? That's right. Let me give you an example. I'm going to show you a man that read what the spirit said and then the other man was led by the Spirit to go to the man that was reading what the Spirit said in the eighth chapter of Acts of the Apostles. Acts of the Apostles. <laughs> ah, That's right. And man, I, I have to break this down with such simplicity of speech. <laughs> That's right. Amen. I want you to follow me. In the eighth chapter of Acts of the Apostles, there was Philip the Evangelist. That's right. And there was a eunuch carrying the queen's treasure and the queen name was Candace. Okay. Now the queen treasure was a man from Ethiopia. That's right. Reading from the book of Isaiah. And the angel of the Lord. Follow me. In the book of Acts chapter 8 and at verse 26. And, and the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip. You, before you go there let's see what the man was reading. That's right. Come on, son. Acts chapter 8 and at verse 28. All right. Was returning and sitting in his chariot. Read Isaiah the prophet. Read Isaiah the prophet. Then the spirit said unto Philip. Now, here you had the uh, eunuch reading the speech of the spirit of God. That's right. You see, you had in one place where the spirit had things written. 
But now the Spirit going to speak direct to the evangelist. That's right. Listen. Then the Spirit said unto Philip. Now, here you had one man reading what the Spirit was saying, but didn't understand it. That's right. But then you have the other man with understanding heard what the Spirit said. That's right. Do you see what I'm telling you? That's right. All right. Then the Spirit said unto Philip. Then the Spirit said to Philip, Draw nigh. Go near and join thyself to this chariot. Go to the chariot. And Philip ran to the Philip chariot. Philip ran. Being led by the Spirit, he ran. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And heard him read the prophet Isaiah. And Isaiah's. heard him read the prophet Isaiah. So then Philip questioned the man. Do what? you understand? What thou readest? What you read. Now... The eunuch said, how can I? Except some man should guide I you. need someone that know the spirit. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Now, viewers, you have the things of God written. That's right. And uh, you can have the things of God written, but if you're ignorant to the content of what's written, then you won't be able to obey what the Spirit said. That's right. Now, what the problem is many are ignorant mm -hmm. to what the Spirit said. Right. So therefore, they assume that the Spirit or the Scriptures mean this or the Scriptures mean that. And then when they assume and lean to their own understanding and take off running and don't wait for understanding, right then they think God is leading them. That's right. Over zealous. That's right. They don't bother to listen to someone that know the Spirit. That's right. You see, someone that's familiar with the Spirit of God, the function of God, the language of God, the wisdom of God, the knowledge of God, the understanding of God, the capability of God, the doing of God, someone that's familiar with God's function will not function out of the boundary of Scripture. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. They're going to stay within the confines of Scripture. That's right. That way they're not, they, they won't blame their doing on the Spirit of God, especially when the Spirit uh, did not leave them according to Scripture. That's right. Viewers, I want everybody to hear and to get this. That's right. God almighty i don't care how happy somebody get let them jump around let them fall out over the floor and knock the chairs over like you done made a strike when you bowl a ball that's right nobody that's right. will god move on or deal with to do anything that contradict what the spirit said to the world through scripture that's right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. I, I don't, 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 don't worry. Don't get excited. Don't get overwhelmed by the multitude of liars that is out here. Right. Just understand this. Right. No man, the Bible says, speaking by the Spirit of right. God, called right. Jesus a curse. A curse. That means no man being led of God will lie on God. That's right. Ah, that's right. <laughs> Glory to God. That's right. The Bible says, "No man." Therefore, listen at this. In the book of First Corinthians, chapter twelve, and at verse three. Therefore, I give you to understand. Oh my God, the apostle want to make sure you got it clear. That's he right. said, "I give you," meaning I want you to understand what that, God is saying through me now. That no man, no man, speaking. I don't the care. Spirit, I don't care if he called himself an apostle, a prophet, a bishop, an elder, an evangelist, a half pint deacon, a jack leg. A, I don't care what he called himself. He can call himself a king, a governor, a prince, a man. Oh, if he an like, angel from heaven. That's right. No man. No man. No man. Speaking by the Spirit of God. Notice. No man speaking by the Spirit of God or no man who's 
speaks by God's permission. That's right. Uh -huh. No man speaking by the Spirit of God. No man speak by God's permission. Calleth Jesus a curse. Call Jesus a curse. You won't lie on him. That's right. When you're guided by the Spirit, you won't say Jesus is the second person in the Godhead. That's right. Yeah, you're not being guided by the Spirit. That's right. When you're guided by the Spirit, you will never say, never, never. say flesh and blood is in heaven. That's right. When you're guided by the Spirit. That's right. When you're guided by the Spirit, you will never say, never, that there's two gods. But when you're overzealous, you'll run ahead of the Spirit. That's right. When you're overzealous, you'll run ahead of Scripture. That's right. And, amen. If you go run ahead of Scripture, God is not leading you. That's right. You know, anytime someone leads you, they in front of you. Yeah. Eh? Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. You know, we used to play a game, follow the leader. That's right. <laughs> and when we played that game, thank God, we wasn't in back of the leader. No. Not at all. Oh, no. Now, notice the Bible says, they that are led. They that are led by the Spirit. Led. 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 That's right. Hallelujah. Thank God. That means we are in back of God. That's right. Huh? That's right. We are in back. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Right. We are in back of him. That's right. We don't run ahead of him. Yeah. And we don't even run side by side. No. We don't run neck and neck like we equal to him. That, no. They that are led. led. They that follow the spirit That's of right. God. They are the sons of God. That's right. Huh? That's right. Now, in order for any man's preaching, any man's teaching, a man to stay in keeping with the Spirit of God, he have to go to the documentations of God. That's right. Huh? That's right. He got to go what been documented That's by right. the prophets and by the apostles amen and you bear in mind they didn't say nothing on their own no everything fall back to the credibility of the spirit that's right none of the men of god said anything on their own that's until right. the apostle says knowing this first and this mm -hmm. knowing this first we have also a more sure that word of no prophecy, prophecy where came in old time that's right by the will of man mm -hmm. but holy men of god speak men of god speak as they were as moved, they was moved by the holy ghost here you had the apostles giving god the credit again that's right, hey? that's right. amen so a bunch of men wasn't bored with their life and got tired of fishing and amen and just didn't have nothing else to do they got bored with a checker game and amen and didn't have no more chess players and they said well i think we'll write some scriptures <laughs> no no not that oh no the holy ghost had a divine order and a divine purpose and he wanted everybody mm -hmm. to know his intentions knowing this first listen at this in second peter chapter one and at verse 20 knowing this when first when first god wanted to introduce something to you first first and that no prophecy that of the no scripture. prophecy no prophecy no prophecy of the scripture of the scriptures is of any private of interpretation. any private interpretation for the prophecy came now not. i want you to understand this mm -hmm. if it was private interpretation meaning you reach your own conclusion you made your own idea you had your own thought then your own supposition and your own opinion would have been included in the writing that's right but no man's opinion mm -hmm. no man's ideology no man's philosophy no man's nothing yeah uh, did God recognize or respect enough That's right. to include it 
in the letter knowing this first knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture that no prophecy of scripture is of any private interpretation is of any private interpretation for the prophecy the came prophecy not, came in, old not time, in old time by the will of man by man will but holy men of god speak holy men of god speak as they were moved by the holy ghost Zeus, that's what you need preaching to you that's right you got you need someone with the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. That's moved by the Holy Spirit. That's right. Whom God opened up his understanding to, to his holy word. That's right. Yeah? That's right. Amen. Now, you bear in mind, when you have a zeal. That's right. Without knowledge. Not according to knowledge. You're going to go to that Bible mm -hmm. and not wait on the leading or the moving or of the spirit that's right and the bible said they that are led by the spirit for as many as are led by the spirit led led by it that's right so that means this i can never put my opinion in front of scripture no no yeah. no led. Now, if i'm led by the spirit i'm led by scripture that's right my opinion must be behind, behind. And, and, and it must must always stay behind that's right god's opinion god's thoughts god's agenda that's right let me make it more plain god's version of the truth <laughs> must stand first and foremost that's right <laughs> that's right hey, let, let, let me say it again say that again god's version that's right of the truth yes so take god Right. must stand first and foremost that's right now you only have two versions of the bible yeah so i said what oh yes you only got two versions of the bible oh, right yeah. and wrong oh yeah that's all you have that's right you only got two versions of the message of truth in the book right of Galatians. and wrong that's right. All right, let's get this. In the book of Galatians, chapter 1, we'll start at verse 8. Parliament. But though we or an angel from heaven. Though we or an angel from heaven. Preach any preach other gospel any unto you. other gospel. See, when you got another gospel, that's the wrong version. That's right. That's the version that gives you zeal without knowledge. That's right. That's the version that got you running around trying to convert people into three God believers. That's right. That's the version that got you baptizing the folk, Father the son the holy ghost yeah that's the version that the preacher tell you it doesn't matter how you look hey amen you can do anything you want to do go anywhere you want to go and bless god and god will overlook your sins and he will that's accept true. you at the end i listen i wish that was true oh yes eh? yes that's the version that i tell you it ain't no hell God is too nice to send you to a place like hell. Right. Uh, yeah, That's all right, right, be a fool. What did he say? But though we or an angel, though we or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel, any other, you. any other, any yeah. other, any thank other. God gospel unto you, then, then that, that which we which, have preached, which unto we you, have preached, let him be a curse. Now, when you stay within the scripture that's right stay within it that's right stay within it mm -hmm. not on the side of it not around it right. stay within yes. the scripture that's right. then you won't lean to another gospel that's now right. i'm exposed to religions around the world i hear from religions all around the world mm -hmm. i talk to religious leaders of every kind mm -hmm. amen but not one Am I so impressed with yes. that I would even consider the possibility of their version of God's truth? I marvel. Yeah. That's right. I won't even consider your version of God's truth. I won't even consider two gods in heaven. Right. I, won't, I won't even consider three gods in heaven. I won't consider another religion came from god that's right i won't even consider it that's right yeah that's right someone said well why won't you do that pastor jennings because the bible god says consider what i, I say see. unto you that's if right if you consider what i say then he said i'll open your understanding and all things that's right so i, I have to take first 
on the consideration did god say this yeah do god feel this way right. did god move on you to say that right. did god call you to say that right. is that thing from god amen because if i want to know where did it come from how did it come about who brought it who's responsible right. amen i go to the book of testimony here that's right, yeah. that's right. I, to god. That's right. I go to the book of testimony don't you know the bible says amen that the testimony uh, uh, that the testimony of jesus the is the spirit of prophecy. of prophecy to testify simply means to bear witness of that's right that's all it is that's right. and the prophets bear witness to what the spirit said to them that's and on the day of pentecost you hear the apostle peter now that's move right. by the holy ghost led, led by, by the spirit, the spirit. Right. that spirit pushed peter until peter had to give a testimony right. until the testimony was so great it was documented that's until right. it said with many other words that's right did he testify glory to god did he testify and exalt and exalt saying save yourself save yourself from this unto war amen amen when you when you give a testimony you are a witness that's right hey eh? right. jesus said to his apostles you are my witnesses but ye shall receive power glory to god do you hear this in the book of acts chapter 1 and verse 8 ye shall receive power Power. After that, the Holy Ghost. Go the verse one. He said, "The former treaties have I made of Theophilus." Of all that of Jesus all began both that to do Jesus and teach, began both to do and to teach until the day until in which he was the taken day up. In which he was taken up. After that, he After through the Holy Ghost. He through the Holy Ghost had given, given commandments the commandment unto the apostles, to the apostles whom he have chosen, to whom also he showed him himself whom also alive. he showed himself alive after, after his passion, his passion by many, by many, many groups. In Fallible proof being seen of them being 40 days seen of them 40 days and speaking of the things speaking pertaining the to thing the kingdom that of pertain God to God's kingdom and being, being assembled, assembled together, with, together them, with them commanded, them, commanded them, that they should not, that depart, they should from not Jerusalem, depart from Jerusalem but wait but wait for the promise of the Lord Father God for the promise Hallelujah. of the Father which says you he heard of me, me. for right. John Truly baptized, baptized with water. With water. But ye shall be, but baptized, ye shall be baptized with the Holy with the Ghost. Holy Ghost. Not many Not days many hence. Many days hence. We they therefore were come together. Uh -huh. They asked of him, saying, Lord, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore the again the kingdom to Israel? Yeah. And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the time. It times, is not you that for they meant for you to know the time. Or the seasons. Or the seasons. Which the Father hath put in his own power. The Father hath put in his own power. But ye, but ye shall receive power. Shall receive power. Power. After that, after that, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, has come upon you, has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me. What? You shall be witnesses unto me. You shall be witnesses. Where are they gonna witness at? Both in Jerusalem. You gonna go to Jerusalem? And in all Judea. You gonna go to Judea? And in Samaria. You travel to Samaria and to the uttermost and parts of the earth. You see, God witnesses. Glory to Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Hey. Amen. Amen. They are apostles they were witnesses, witnesses of him that's right amen that's hallelujah. why i can trust their hallelujah. testimony hallelujah do you see what i'm telling you that's right you know some you got false witnesses you know that's right that's they right. try to when you are false witness you say jesus is the second person in the godhead that's right you're not a witness of him that's right you a witness of them that's right ah! that's right amen the apostles were witnesses of him that's right. now i had someone say to be an apostle you have to be a eyewitness of his resurrection again what is that that's a false witness false because witness. brother paul he wasn't an eyewitness that's of right. his resurrection right. thank god but blessed be the name of god but the apostle said how god revealed his son in me that's right ah, now viewers the apostles were witnesses that's right and the prophets were witnesses that's right the apostles witnesses flesh yeah. 
the prophets witnessed the doings and the function of the spirit that's right now the book of spirit here this is the book of spirit yeah yeah words because jesus said the words that i speak unto you they are spirit and they are life so the scriptures is the book of spirit Good. amen it exposes the wrong spirit mm. and it testify the right spirit that's right and they even advise us what spirit not to believe that's right huh? that's right oh thank god you better give me the epistle of john first john chapter four, four. and at verse six. Beloved, believe not that every spirit glory to god glory to god you heard the holy ghost says we, we are of god we are of god but he that knoweth god we are of us. god that's right we are of the right spirit we are of god we are of this book of truth that's right we are of the scripture that's right that's what that means we are of god we are of god he that knoweth god he that know god here is us hold it right there hold Hallelujah. it right there it just sounds too good to ignore it that's right he that know god here is us now wait a minute viewers if you know god you won't fight what i'm preaching that's right mm -mm. That's no right. no no if you know god you won't fight nothing that that's i'm right. preaching that's right huh? that's right did you hear the bible speak plain he that knoweth god now hold it hold it hold it what you mean he that know god for me to know God, I got to go back to Scripture. That's right. Eh? That's for right. the Bible says, search the Scripture for in them you think you have eternal life. Right. All the information for God's church Good. is in the Scripture. That's right. And so the Bible says that it might be made known to the church the manifold wisdom of God. That's right. Where is that wisdom? Right back to scripture. That's it. Come back to scripture. That's, that's why you hear me pleading with you and begging you. Come on back to Bible. That's right. Come on back to Bible. That's right. Uh, now let, let, let me let me say it another way. Viewer, viewer, let me say it another way. Come on back to God. That's right. Come on back to God. That's right. Amen. Now let let me come on and say it another way. Come on back to the spirit. That's right. Hey, hallelujah. Glory right. to God. That's right. Come on back. Hallelujah. Thank God to the spirit. That's right. When you come back to the spirit, spirit. you become interested That's right. in the things of God, the function of God. Listen at this now. We are of God. What? We are of we God. are of God. He that knoweth God. He that know God. Here is us. Now, if you know God, you will know the Scripture. That's and right. If you know the Scripture, you are here with thing we got to tell you. That's right. And he that is not of God. He that is not of God. Here is not us. You will fight what the word said. Hereby. When we come tell you that there's one God, you will fight it. That's right. When we come tell you there's not a half scripture mm -hmm. that even mentioned Trinity, yeah. you will fight it. That's Why? Right. Why will they fight it, Williams? He that is not of God. Because they're not of God. Here is not us. They won't hear. Here. You will fight what Ever the work your pastor will fight, yes, he will. Your bishop will fight, Congress will fight, government will fight, your wife will fight, your fool husband will fight, of God. your untamed, disobedient, wild children will fight. Why? He that is not of God, because you're not of God. Here is not us when you're not of God, you're not of the spirit of truth. Right. When you got the spirit of truth. You got the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And when you got the spirit of truth, right. even when the word of God hurts you, yeah. the spirit of truth makes you say, not my will. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. The spirit of truth make you ask God to help you come up and Hallelujah. Glory to God. Help you to overcome and That's right. ask God to Give me strength to come up to what you say. Why? I was God. I got the spirit of truth in there. Here is us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What did he say? He that knoweth God. He that knew God. Here is us. Amen. When you, that, that, that's what draws people. That's right. That's what drawing so many thousands to this message. 
because the Bible says he that have an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit say to the church. And the Bible say he that what? He that knoweth God. He that know God. Hear us. You will hear us. And God knows that's the truth. That's the truth. Why? Because the Spirit that God know what he sounds like. Hey, go ahead. God know what he sounds like. Go ahead. Thank God. And when you got the blessed Holy Ghost from on high and got the real thing. That's it. That thing that is within you. That's when it. you hear the truth of God's message, you'll find it pulling on you. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. to God. Hallelujah. You'll find it drawing on you. That's right. Just pulling on you. That's right. Even when your wife refused to sleep with you ever again. That's right. While you're laying on your side. Yeah. And she's on her side. I did. While you're laying over there, the word is still pulling on you. That's right. Yeah. Amen. That's right. When you when, when your preacher threatened to fire you from your fake position he gave you yeah. in your church, yeah. the word of God will pull on you. Oh yes. When you got the right spirit right. and your zeal right. is in order and your zeal your drive your longing right. is in keeping within the confines of the contents of oh, god's yeah. word you won't run ahead of the spirit right. but you will right. allow yourself to be led, led by, by the, the spirit. spirit by Following what the word of God say in the book. He that knoweth God. He that know God. Here is us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Huh? He that knoweth God. That's, that sounds so good. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He that know him. Here is us. How do I know I got the Holy Ghost today? Hallelujah. Because I speak another tongue. That's right. And I, I heard Hallelujah. what the Spirit said. That's right. What will follow that believer? That's right. These signs. Now follow them that yes. believe. Follow. Go and say God. Follow them. Them that believe. That's right. Huh? And I, and, and, and I, I seek the Lord for that sign. That's right. My faith make me cry out to God. Hallelujah. Morning, noon, Go ahead, man. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go God. Morning, noon, and night. Hallelujah. And, and while I'm crying out to God, my zeal. Zeal. Stay in keeping. That's right. With God's word. That's right. Uh, I don't. I don't get over Zayas and say, Lord. Uh, uh, while I'm at the altar, I'm not gonna leave here until I die. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, that's over Zayas. That's right. Why? Because I gotta go to work the next day. That's right. I am not gonna get off my knees until i die that's over there they have a zeal of god and, and and that's not being realistic because the moment your bladder start working you getting off your knees that's right <laughs> i i i want to show you over zealousness versus being led by the spirit that's right. sometimes we become over zealous because we want something so bad yeah eh? Okay. we want it so bad but let us understand this that the book of scriptures here to govern our want right. and then when it teaches us how to govern our want it constructs us how to pursue what we want that's right so we don't run again ahead of the spirit that's right we always want to be led, led. by spirit led by the spirit of god led by the scriptures of God led by the language of God so I don't lie and say God made me do this That's it. God made me do that That's right. I may have the attitude that uh, I'm not going to get off my knees until you feel me but in the all actuality uh, if I don't receive the Holy Ghost Tuesday I got to go to work Wednesday morning That's true yeah. That's right. Amen. So I'm going to physically get off my knees and go take a bath. Amen. And then get something to eat and fulfill the other part of the scripture that if I don't work, right. I don't eat. I don't and eat. then I'm going to come back up and pick up where I left off. Now do you see where I'm driving? That's right. Glory to God. We are of God. 
Did you hear this? Back in uh, First John four and verse six. Ye, we are, are of God. We are of God. He that knoweth God. He that know God. Heareth us. Hear us. He that is not of God. He that is not of God. He heareth not us. It won't hear. Hereby, and hereby, know, know we the spirit of truth. That I want everybody to hear. Hear, 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 hear. Hereby, no, no, we the spirit of truth, the spirit of truth, and and the spirit of error, the spirit of error, error. You have the spirit of truth, which is the spirit of God, and the spirit of error, error. which is the spirit of Satan. That's now, right. the spirit of Satan brings about error and make you make claims that you can't live up to. That's true. It hypes you up. That's true. You profess. You don't profess a good profession. That's right. You profess a too early profession. That's right. You say what you can't live up to. Right. You claim what you don't have. Yeah. Now, let me show you an example of being overzealous and claiming what you don't have. Yeah. The overzealous spirit of error message is yeah. just claim your healing. That's right. That's an overzealous that's right. message that's full of error. That's right. For the Bible ain't never said no. claim your healing. No, no, no. Claim that house. No. Claim that car. No. You can go out on the church parking lot and lean up against my car if you like. Go lean on it. In fact, you can go sit on the hood and cross your legs like a Buddhist monk and let your fingertips hit your thumb. And when I come out, I hear you going, um, um, amen. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to ask you, hey, brother, what you doing? And then you open one eye. I'm, I'm claiming your car. All right. And then, all right, I'm not going to argue with you, but I'm going to get in my car. I'm going to mash the button. And I'm going to start the engine. That's right. And, That's right. <laughs> and once those wheels start to turn and I disturb you in that position, you will come down. <laughs> yes, you will. <laughs> Did you see what I'm telling you? That's right. <laughs> Glory to God. Right. I want to wake you up because these overzealous dumb preachers got you doing things that I have you put in jail and in hell that's true eh? that's true do you see what I'm telling you that's right. the Bible they never tell you claim a house claim a car claim a job let them ask of God wait 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 do, do you hear how the Bible you see we are relying on God's version of that's the right. truth that's right the spirit of truth, God's version, God's outlook on the truth. Now, if we follow the leading of God, that's right. Follow the leading of the spirit. That's right. Do it the way the spirit say do it. It'll be all right. Yes, it will. Huh? That's right. And we won't make a fool out of ourselves. Uh -huh. All right, come on. All right, let's, let's skip this. Come on, Williams. In the book of St. James, chapter 1, we'll start at verse 4. All right. But let patience have a perfect work. Let patience have a perfect work. That ye may be perfect and entire one enough. Yes. If any of you lack wisdom. If any of you lack wisdom. Let him ask of God. Ask of God. That giveth to all men liberty. Yes. And upbraideth not. Uh -huh. And it shall be given him. All right. But let him ask in faith. Let him claim it. Let him ask in faith. No, claim it and you got it. Let him ask in faith. Now, viewers, there are many of you watching me right now. You're overzealous. And many of you are in churches and came out of churches that taught you zeal the wrong way. That's right. The wrong way. That's right. What do you mean? Anytime, all right, I got a bad back and I know my, my, my slip this is all out of joint. How in the world can a preacher make a sucker out of me, make a fool out of me, stand over me with a microphone and convince me that my back is not bad? My disc is not slipped. Right. 
and then have me running around the church all hype. You know, when your adrenaline is pumping, you don't feel that pain. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Hey Amen. So the preacher, that false prophet, <laughs> get your adrenaline pumping and you running around there. But God knows, I say God knows when that adrenaline wear off, bless God and you start on your way back home. By the time you get home, that back and those discs say, here am I. That's right. Here am I. That's right. You got to be a blind, overzealous fool. God knows. Oh, yeah. Think of it. Well, how can a preacher make you so blind that he make you run out of his church and go on the lawn and start eating grass like animals? That's right. Overzealous. How can the preacher... How can the preacher, amen, make his congregation? I heard of one situation where a preacher told some of his followers to go drink his dirty bath water. My Lord. A preacher. Here is old dirt floating on top of the water. My Lord. <laughs> Along with old soap. And the members drank his dirty, filthy bath water. My Lord. This, this, this message is so important. Amen. It's an eye opener. Amen. Amen. I want to give you God's version of the truth. God will never contradict his word. That's right. Ah. That's right. Now, all right, viewers, you find people say God can do anything. All right, that's true. that's true. God can do anything. But I want you to understand this other truth. Not even God himself will break his word to get anything done that's right ah! that's right amen god not gonna tell us to believe his word and then come back and break his word that's to right. do something for anybody that's right god won't do that oh no amen why because if god do something for you to know is him he says search the scriptures search the scriptures for you to know is him he said believe on him that's according to to the scripture so you see where i'm driving what did he say but let him ask in faith let him claim it let him ask in faith but we ventured out for this campus mm -hmm. amen and didn't have the money to buy it i didn't come here and walk around the campus like joshua walking around a wall <laughs> seven times god didn't tell me uh nikki i want you to get up this morning and go down the fifth street and march around the walls march around the campus and here i'm walking around linlin make a left on fourth street make a left on duncan make another left on fifth street and keep walking seven times that that no 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 that, that this that wall was for joshua to do that's right and, and that's that was right. for them that's right that, that wasn't for me you see there's right. certain things in the word of god god designated for it to be for that time that's right do you see what I'm telling you? That's right. Amen. God, did, there's some things God did not uh, plan for everybody to do. That's right. You get what I'm telling you? That's right. So when some folks say, well, what God will do for one, who will do for the other? Uh, no, 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 no. God ain't said that. No. God ain't said that. Amen. Prove it, Pastor Jennings. Why, certainly I will. God make preachers out of men. He don't make preachers out of women. Right. Huh? That's right. God make preachers out of men. Right. Yeah, I dare you to tell me he make it out of women. Right. So you can't tell me what God will do for one, he do for the other. Mm -hmm. I believe when he itemized certain things in the Bible, he said to one, the gift of prophecy. To another, the gift of healing. He, he just give out these gifts according to his divine will and his order. That's right. When you're overzealous, you claim something too early. That's right. I don't care. And look, I can pray for you, and, but if you're blind, mm -hmm. they don't need for me to get up and say, you can see. It's true. Here I done prayed for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, your eyes is open, you can see. And you can't even see your, 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 your feet. <laughs> Amen. Do you see? How is it? that these preachers is so filled up with the spirit of error, error that they can take a man who cannot see 
and convince him he can see. That's right. Can take a person who really can walk and convince him he can walk. And his disciples remembered. Listen. Now in the book of St. John chapter 2 and at verse 19. His disciples remembered. And his disciples remembered that it was written. It was written. The zeal of thine house. The zeal of your house. Has eaten me up. Uh, that's what happened. That's right. When you become overzealous. That's right. And you're not led by the spirit of God. What will the spirit of error and that bad zeal do to you? The zeal of thine house has eaten me up. It'll eat you up. That's true. It'll eat you up. Right. Amen. You'll just be out there trying to witness to people, telling them all the wrong things, true. putting everybody in hell and you on your way yourself. Right. Amen. You, you get the God head all mixed up. Amen. Why? Overzealous. Overzealous. Amen. Won't wait. The Bible said he that uh, minister, wait on your ministry. They won't wait. won't wait. They just run. They learn a few scriptures, run out there and try to start some church and then lead the few people they got right to the lake of fire. Why? Overzealous. Mm -hmm. And when you're overzealous, now your mind is vulnerable for the infiltration of dreams. That's right. That's right. My God, man, now you're going to start having dreams. Yeah. And then those voices are going to start talking to you that don't talk. That's right. Huh? That's You're right. going to start hearing things and seeing things. And because you are ignorant of the function of God, right. because you are ignorant of the word of God, right. you're going to blame those dreams and all those voices. The Lord told me to do this. The Lord told me to do that. Mm -hmm. Listen, if I'm, if I'm hungry, I don't need the spirit to speak to me. You better eat, Nikki. No. Gino, you better eat. That's right. My stomach going to testify. When I hear that stomach go, uh, 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 my stomach is giving me a testimony. Listen, you better bring something down here. That's right. Huh? Nature bring itself something teaches. down here. That's right. Amen. There's it, it, no need to assume something. That's right. Viewers and listeners, have you ever been in a church? where the zeal was so foolish, so outrageous, not governed by scripture until the church was nothing but a madhouse. That's but true. then they call it faith. That's right. That's right. They call the spirit of error, yeah. stupidity, ignorant advice. Yeah. They call that faith. faith. That's right. That's right. Faith is according to scripture. That's right. Faith in God don't contradict scripture. That's right. Faith is in compliance with scripture. Now faith is the substance. Listen at this. In the book of Hebrews chapter 11 and at verse 1. Yeah. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence of things not seen. For by it the by elders it. Of the elders obtained a good report. Yes. Through faith. Through faith. We understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. And so that things which were seen, things which are seen, were not were made of not things which made do of appear. things which do appear. By faith. By faith. Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. He trusts God. That's right. He believed God. That's right. And that sacrifice is better than what Cain offered. By which he obtained witness that he was righteous. And God testifying of his gifts. You don't, you don't read where he claimed it. God testifying of his gifts. God bad witness of his gift. Now, viewers That's right. and listeners, you want God to bear witness That's right. of what you're doing. His gifts. You know, I believe he stood behind the apostles so great until the Bible said he, he bear witness and signs and right. wonders, wonders and diverse wonders. miracles and wonders. gifts of the Holy Ghost. Wonders. Then he said how it would come according right. to, his will. to his own will. To his own will. Viewers, right. who's that voice you're hearing in your head at night? Mm -hmm. Who's speaking to you? Amen. Who gave you that dream? Sister, don't you let that fellow run to you. And to my son, well, look, I had a dream, you're my wife. Okay, when you reject his dream, who else he gonna dream about? Dreams this Not only fools. him, not only that, who did he dream about before he dreamt about you? It's true. Yeah. It's true. Amen. Amen. 
Yeah, man, yeah, you better look past his, uh, his bankroll. Yeah. Look past his car, because most, that's what many look at. Not all, but some look at the bankroll and the car. Amen. And they look at the car that they drive and say he got money. They may not know whether he leased it or not, or whether it's his father's car, or maybe it's a rental car, or maybe it came from hers. That's rent a car. That's huh? right. But she looked on the materialistic things, and right then she said, Well, that, that's the way the Lord leads you, you yeah. fool. fool. Why would you marry a man you don't even love? Why would you marry a woman you don't even love? You're going to marry someone based upon the word of mouth? Are you that foolish? Are you that blind? Are you that deceiver of the devil? I don't care if they speak in tongues so much until their clothes turn to the cover of a Bible. You better come on back. Come on back. Come on back. That's right. And let us remember that God functions according to to what is written in, in. the book of Ecclesiastes. Don't misunderstand me. Don't misunderstand mm -hmm. me. God can show you a wife and show you a husband in the vision of the night. But you bear in mind the way God do anything. Well, never, never, I say that to say this. Many of you men that went to some women and say you my wife, that man is already married, sister. And sister, you already married. You're both already married. And, and this is how they become so overzealous and believe anything under the sun. They're so foolish, so deceive of the devil. I want to itemize this what time I have. Come on, Williams. In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 34, we'll start at verse 1. The book of Ecclesiasticus or the book of Sirach. Chapter, chapter 34, 34. Verse 1. All right. The hopes of a man void of understanding. The what? the hopes of a man the hopes of a man void of understanding void of understanding are vain and false wait a minute Amen. how plain is that that's right the hopes of a man the void, void of understanding of understanding are vain his, his hopes is, is no good and false and his hopes is false and dreamless amen the hopes of a man who don't have no understanding are vain. His hopes are in vain and false. You know, some men go out and start churches to compete with other men. It's true. God didn't lead them. God didn't make them no preacher. They have no anointing. And you don't hear God down in them at all. All. That's right. And you can look at their work and see how it's just worthless. It's false. It never even get off the ground good. It just say it stay in the same stage year in and year out. Now, when I look at the word of God, amen. I may start out, amen. Few, but if God send me, He's gonna start adding. He's going to add, but if I'm out on my own, if I'm out on my own, that's right. When a man is out on his own, God's hand is not in what he's in. It's true. He can scream, he can yell, he can holler, he can even baptize right. But if God don't send him out, yeah. amen, if he's not one of God's agents, if he's not one of God's spokesmen, if he, if God didn't hire him and then tell him, I want you to work for me That's right. and, and then take matters in his own hands and right. start some church, hopes of a man, no anointing, mm -hmm. his hope, hopes of a man, his hope for the flourishing of it, void of understanding, and he don't understand what this consists of, are vain, vain, and false. False. That's right. Vain. Vain. You go out there in the pulpit because your wife want a preacher. Hmm. Vain. Vain. Hey Amen. Even if a preacher died and leave the church that you have to you, yeah. but if God didn't appoint you and make you a leader, mm -hmm. and you hope that something happens, uh -huh. God says, Vain. Because you don't have understanding. Vain. Vain. And false. This is the answer to why so many churches don't go nowhere that's true god didn't put what you have in the pulpit so therefore there's a blind man that's right leading what people are there 
blood. I don't care if it's your father, grandfather, great grandfather, son, husband. A blind man can't get behind the wheel of my car and take me nowhere. That's right. Eh? That's right. God said, Blessed are your eyes. So they, they see. They see. That's now right. you got to have someone that see the scripture, meaning understand the scripture, that stays in back of the scripture because then they are always in position to be led by the scripture now when you become overzealous and become self-righteous and become arrogant and become high-minded and begin to look at yourself more than you look at god right then you went ahead of the scriptures and no longer wait for the waiting or the moving of God, you no longer wait to be led of God. That's right. And then, That's right. even if God did bless you, He'll turn on you. Yes, He will. And make what you have fall apart. That's right. Is that Bible? Oh yes. Oh, yes. In the book of Daniel, yes. Nebuchadnezzar was used of God. That's right. And uh, God was with Nebuchadnezzar. But never Nebuchadnezzar speech start to change. That's right. If is this not great Babylon that I I am built. I That's no right. longer giving God the credit. That's right. No longer giving God the glory. That's right. That I have built. Right. Thank God and while his words was in his mouth. That's right. The voice of the watcher. Thank mm -hmm. God fell from heaven mm -hmm. and let him know the thing is now fulfilled. That's Drove right. Nebuchadnezzar out of the kingdom and he was out there living like an animal. That's right. Living like a beast. So wait and let your zeal be governed. You better go back to the uh, scripture, I believe in the book of Romans. They have a zeal of God, That's but right. not according That's to right. knowledge. I want to itemize that some more. And then we go back to John, the spirit of truth That's and the right. spirit of error. Back in, me. back in Romans chapter 10, we're at verse 2. Come on, viewers, I'm taking you for a ride. Follow me. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God. I bear them record that means something is recorded about people. But not according to knowledge. They are zealous. Mm -hmm. When you're overzealous, you're going to hurt somebody. Yes, you will. You're going to witness to somebody and tell them the wrong thing. Right. And then they're going to ask you, well, you go get you anxiously. Amen. You anxiously. You heard a scripture used in explaining something in scripture. And you went and got that scripture, but you can't explain it. Right. And then you give it to someone you're witnessing to out of zealousness. And they say, well, you know what? That's right. But what do that mean? And then when you're overzealous, you can't explain it. So what do the overzealous person say? Mm -hmm. It means what it says. True. Huh? That's right. It mean what it said. Now, someone said, well, Pastor Jennings, isn't that always the right answer? If you read something, it mean what it says? No. 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 Bible says that God speaks those things that are not. That's right. As though they were. That's right. As though they are. God speaks those things that are not as though they are let me give you an example isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6 quickly mm -hmm. isaiah 9 and 6 god is gonna say something as if it happened right then mm -hmm. and through the prophet he actually gonna speak in the present tense term isaiah, Listen. isaiah chapter 9 and at verse 6 i want this to be good for you who always say, well, it mean what it says. All right, let me let us you overzealous. Let me let me get your zeal in order. Mm -hmm. Thank God shift gears and kind of slow down. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're riding about 120 or 140. I want you to shift your gears. You know, you can hear that track, the trailer. Brother, when he shift those gears, you can hear. <laughs> Amen. He's working on it. That's Amen. Right. I want to slow you down because you're driving on the highway right to hell. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Come on, son. What did he say? Isaiah chapter 9 and at verse 6. All right. For unto us. I want to show you in the Bible 
you can't always walk around quoting scripture and, and your only respond is, it mean what it said. No, that's not in all cases. In all Listen cases. at this. For unto us, unto us, a child is born. A child is born. Unto us, unto us, a son is given. Hold those two statements right there. Mm. Unto us. Hold it. Mm -hmm. Now, viewers, let me educate you. This, under us a child is born is talking born. about the birth of Jesus under us a son is given talking about the death of Jesus but look at the language that was used here for unto us a child is born present tense that's right what else for and for under us, us a son, a son is, is given. given present tense but listen there wasn't no child born back then that's right there wasn't no son given back then the son of God didn't come from the womb of Mary back then. Right. And the son of God wasn't put to death in the flesh on the cross back then. Right. Mary wasn't even born back then. That's but right. yet it said unto us a child is born. A son is given. But it spoke in the present tense. But he spoke those things that are not as though it was actually happening. And call it those things. Huh? That's right. Let me show you in the Bible. In the book of Romans chapter 4 and at verse 7. All right. And call those things. And call those things. Which be not. Which be not. As though they were. As though they were. That's right. Isaiah, by God's zeal, God's anointed zeal, moved on Isaiah to say, Unto us a child is, 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 born. is born. And Jesus wasn't nowhere born back then. That's right. Not at all. That's right. He wasn't born in the Old Testament. Yeah. Amen. That son of God of flesh and blood, that begotten body that come from the seed of Abraham, from the tribe of Judah, from the generation of Shem, the brother of Ham and Japheth, the sons of Noah. Thank God he wasn't walking around the Old Testament back then with flesh and blood. That's Not right. at all. That's right. Son is given. Is the given. son didn't die back then. No. Huh? No. There was no blood shed for our redemption back then back through then. the death of Jesus. No. Oh, no. But he spoke those things that are not. Call it those things they which be not. Call those things that be not. As though they were. You see, when you're overzealous, right then, it mean what it said. No, no, come on back now. Come on back. This is a good lesson. This is a good lesson. I just want all creation the whole world when you're overzealous you make a early declaration you're a preacher you're this you are that you're the other don't even know what being a preacher consists of and That's none true. of it right. amen god called and sent me to preach the gospel you don't even know genesis amen you don't know the book of genesis from the beer called genesis you don't even know <laughs> Huh? Right. Amen. You, amen. Someone asks you, and you don't know. You think Jack Daniel is the prophet Daniel in the lion's den? <laughs> have a zeal of God. <laughs> amen. Have a zeal. Zeal of God. A zeal of God. But not according to you knowledge. You don't have no knowledge. You don't have no, no knowledge. knowledge whatsoever when you're overzealous you read when god told ezekiel uh eat the whole roll and when you're overzealous right then you start cramp you start ripping the bible cramming it in your mouth amen and then before you know it and someone say well the word gonna make you sick no the ink and paper gonna make you sick <laughs> that's right when you're overzealous, when Jesus said if thy hand offend you, cut it off, it's better to go into life maimed than to have two hands to go into hell and to, and to have two hands to go into hell. Well, if you're overzealous, you're gonna cut that hand off. Mm -hmm. And then gonna sit it to me in a shoebox. And say, <laughs> Pastor Jennings, I'm willing to I'm willing to lose every limb That's to right. be saved. That's if right. thy hand offend you, cut it off. It is better to go in the life main than to have two hands to go into hell right. and to the fire that never uh, shall be quenched. When you're overzealous, you're going to start cutting off hands because then the Bible said if your eye offend you, pluck it out. You're going to take that off. If your feet offend you, cut it off. Well, by the time you're done, you're going to be bloody and hobbling. <laughs> That's huh? right. Coming to church. Coming to church with the nub and fuck. And my brother, what's wrong with you? I'm determined to get in. Huh? <laughs> Huh? I'm determined to make it, you fool. Have a zeal of God. What did he say? 
have a zeal of God. You always have yes, but not according to knowledge. Overzealousness, you are you you are run people out the church. Yes, you will. Tell them the wrong thing. Give them the wrong information. You move too fast. That's when right. you're overzealous, you talk too quick. That's right. And you talk too much. That's right. Bible said a fool is known by the multitude of words. That's right. When you're overzealous, you talk before you get an understanding. That's true. You declare yourself, you go jump up and go start some, amen, corner store church. That's right. And God ain't made you nothing. Nothing. That's true. You got men in the pulpit, never spoke in tongue, no Holy Ghost. Yeah. Talking about their preaching. You were, how you were preaching without the Holy Ghost? Without the Holy Ghost. You are a preacher. You ain't never repented, never been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You just walk around with a black suit and a backward collar and a black Bible going to church to my son. You are a preacher. You ain't no preacher. You're still a sinner. That's right. Have a zeal of God. You have a zeal of God. But not according to now. And you don't know what you're doing. Go back to the epistle of John. Mm -hmm. Let's see what spirits are out here. Back in 1 John chapter 4 and verse 6. Uh -huh. We are of God. We are of God. He that knoweth God he heareth us. He that know God hear us. He that is not of God. He that is not of God. Heareth not us. He don't want to hear the things of God. That's why you got people so many fight this message because fight. they're not of God. They're not of God because when you, listen, even though there's something in the Bible you don't understand, if you got a godly spirit, you won't never fight God's word. No way. It, it may hurt you, it might make you angry, but you're not going to say it's not the truth. That's right. Because everything God said is the truth. That's right. It ain't nothing wrong with what God said. It's just something wrong with our faith in what God says. That's right. All right. Hereby know we the spirit of truth. Hereby. Amen. Know we the spirit of truth. That is, listen, viewer, 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 viewer. Are you so zealous? You're going to put on a woman's clothes? Mm. Brother. Amen. Mm -hmm. Are you so zealous? Did the Holy Ghost make you put on that woman clothes? My Lord. Are you so zealous? Did the Holy Ghost make you walk across the chairs of the church and then that chair flipped back and you hit the floor, preacher? That's right. Are you so zealous? Has the Holy Ghost make you sit on those men lap in church and Amen. those women lap in church and you're supposed to be preaching, rocking your backside on their thighs? That's right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> Amen. That's right. Amen. Are you so zealous? Is the Holy Ghost did the Holy Ghost lead all you men? Amen. About fifty-five men laying hands on one man just to ordain him? My Lord. You can't even see the man body. He's covered like bees. That's right. huh? That's right. Amen. All type of men, drunks laying hands on him. Homosexuals barely touching him. Everything. Everything. Glory to God. Hereby know we the spirit. Hereby know we the spirit of know truth. Know we the spirit of truth. When I want to know how the spirit of truth function, I'm going to run to the Bible. That's right. I'm going to run to the Bible. That's it. You see, when you overzealous and got the spirit of error, you're going to see someone sick and yell, The blood of Jesus. Yes, you will. The blood of Jesus. That's right. The blood of Jesus. It ain't there. Here, 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 here. That's you right. old blind, ignorant, devil deceived thing. That's There's right. not a man in that Bible ever prayed over anybody yelling the blood of Jesus. Amen. Not one. Not one. Not one. When the apostles came to you, if you were sick or had the devil in you, they come in the name. In the name. In the name. That's right. Of the Lord Jesus. There ain't Lord nobody. Jesus. You see, preachers, you're overzealous. While like yelling in your ear for about 30 minutes. The blood. The blood is against you. The blood. No, 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 no. For me to pray, you better give me the book of Corinthians quickly. That's right. I better give me Corinthians. That tells me how should I pray. That's right. I'm working on the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Right. God leads one and the devil leads one. That's right. When God leads you, my performance is right in that Bible. That's right. All right. First Corinthians chapter 14 and at verse 15. Amen. 
What is it then? What is it then? I will pray with the Spirit. I will pray with the Spirit. And I will pray with the understanding also. Hold it. Hold it. Pray with the Spirit. With the Spirit. If I pray with the Spirit, my words that I utter is going to be with the Spirit. That's right. Why? Because Jesus said, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So the words that I utter, utter is going to be with the Spirit, meaning they're going to be in full agreement with what's written here. That's right. Even my prayer has to be according to what's written. That's right. I can't say anything or do anything that contradict what's written because I gotta go to the Bible to justify my prayer. That's right. And don't you care? The apostles asked Jesus, Lord, teach us how to pray. To pray. To pray. Teach us how to do it. That's right. Viewers, have you ever seen these fool men? Someone sick and a of the whole pulpit and yelling the blood the blood the blood oh shut up amen amen not even jesus himself went around yelling the when jesus went to the the that was possessing the devil he ain't never said my blood is against you no it didn't huh no, we didn't. Not even Jesus did it. When the even was come. Let, let, let's follow the Bible. Let's follow the zeal, the book of zeal. In the Listen. Book, in the book of St. Matthew chapter 8 and at verse 16. Follow me. When the even was come. When the even had come. They brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. Yes. And he cast out the spirits. He cast out the spirits. With his word. He cast out the spirits with, with his blood. Cast out the spirits with his word. With his blood. With his word. With his blood. With his word. Now, viewers, give chapter and verse again, Wim, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this harmonize. We're gonna make this harmonize so well. When you finish that, give me Colossians 3:17. Right. I want to make it harmonize. <laughs> Listen at this now. In the book of St. Matthew, chapter 8, and at verse 16. Follow me, viewers. <laughs> you that go to these churches and all these Joe Knuckleheads in the pulpit <laughs> telling everybody, the blood, the blood is against you. The blood is against you, Billy. The blood is against you, Ralph. The blood is against you, John. The blood is against you, Cynthia. All oh, shut up. That's right. That's right. Let's come on back to Bible. That's right. Let's come on back to Bible. Amen. Huh? Amen. Let's do it the way Jesus said do it. That's right. All right. Matthew chapter 8 and at verse 16. Listen. When the even was come. When the evening came. They brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. They brought many that were possessed of the devil. And he cast out the spirits. He cast out the spirit. With his word. With his blood. With his word. You better read that right, you glass wearing reader. And he cast out the spirit. He cast out spirit. With his word. With his word. With his what? With his word. All right. Now and let's heal. And what? And heal. It was done. And heal. And heal all that were sick. All that were sick. That's right. That's right. Not even Jesus used his own blood. That's right. Huh? That's now right. notice, he said he done it with his word. With his word. Now let's listen how the apostle Paul mm. moved by the same spirit. Spirit That's right. That moved on the Son of Man. That's Listen right. Listen at what the Apostle teaches us in Colossians 3, 17. In Colossians chapter 3 and verse 17. Whatsoever ye do in word. And what? Whatsoever ye do in word. And what did Jesus do? And he cast out the spirits with his word. And what did Paul say? And whatsoever ye do in word. And what did Jesus do? And he cast out the spirits with his word. With his what? With his word. With his what? With his word. With his what? With his word. Or oh, thank God the word is the power. Hallelujah. The power Hallelujah. of speech. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. That's right. And what did Paul tell us? And whatsoever ye do. Whatsoever ye do. In word. Now we got to come along Hallelujah. with you the same word. That's right. And the 
do and what all. we got to do it in. Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. When we use the words, what we got to say. Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. When we use his words, what we got to say. Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. No, the blood of Jesus. Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. The blood of Jesus. In the name of the Lord the Jesus. The blood of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Remember the 19th chapter of Acts of the Apostles. Now we're going to get one possessed of the devil. That's right. Let's see if the apostles, did they throw blood on him? That's right. Man, that's I right. want this to be good. Now, and, and after we read that, I want to figure chapter 1 and begin at verse 7. Yeah. I want to show you the purpose of blood, the reason of blood. Reason Thank it. God I want to itemize this. Yeah. Amen. I want to figure 1 7, then I want Hebrews 9 22. Amen. Amen. That's right. In Come Ephesians, on, son. Ephesians Amen. chapter 1 and at verse 7. Amen. No, 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 no. Let's back up. Let's back up. And get what I said before then. In the book of Acts chapter 16. Yes. And we'll start at verse 17. All right. The same followed Paul and us. I want to show you how when they cast out spirits. Right. They use the name of Jesus and not blood. That's right. Viewers, I want everybody in the world to hear me. That's right. Any bishop, any so-called apostle, any elder, any pastor that pray over you and start yelling the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus you're following a man who don't know how to pray and you're following a man that's void of understanding and you follow a man that don't know what blood is for that's right. Let's itemize this. All right, son. Acts chapter 16. We'll start at verse 16. And then we're going to Acts 19. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. All right. And it came to pass as we went to prayer. Yes, as we went to prayer. A certain damsel a certain possessed damsel with, the spirit, possessed with the spirit of divination. spirit of divination. Met us which brought her masters much gained by soothsaying. Yes. The same followed Paul and us. Uh, and, and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God. Uh, all right. We show unto us the way of salvation. Yes. And this did she Many days. He did it many days. But Paul, being grieved, Paul turned, was grieved. Turned and said to the spirit. He turned and said to the spirit that was in the woman. I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ. I command thee by the blood of Jesus Christ. I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ. I command thee by the blood of Jesus Christ. I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ. The blood. The name of Jesus. The Christ. blood. The name of Jesus. The Christ. blood. The name of Jesus Christ. Something is wrong. That's right. Something is wrong. That's right. How is it? All of these religious leaders don't know the purpose of the blood of Jesus Christ. That's right. Huh? That's right. Nowhere in the Bible. Nowhere. Nowhere. Did Jesus or the apostles use blood That's right. to heal nobody, nobody. or use blood? To cast out nothing. That's right. What the apostle said. I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ. I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ. To come out of her. Come out. And he came out the same hour. And they came out the same hour. In the book of Acts chapter 19. Move fast. And we'll start at verse 13. All right. Then certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists, took upon them to call they had them, them that took it upon themselves the work of exorcism mm -hmm. uh -huh. which had evil spirits the name of the lord jesus hey wait a minute even them devils you knew what to do <laughs> That's huh? right. not even the devil listen not That's even right. the devils will use blood that's right they knew what to do all right then certain of the vagabond jews exorcists took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits yes the name of the lord jesus uh, saying we adjure you we by adjure jesus. you by who by jesus by jesus whom paul preaches wait a minute not even they say we adjure you by jesus who shed blood no 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 we adjure you we by adjure, jesus we adjure you by the blood we adjure you by jesus who what whom paul preaches whom the apostle paul preached that's right huh? And bless God and then when the apostle came along and prayed and then the devil came out amen but he used the name of Jesus Christ right. now viewers viewers when you're overzealous you will retaliate against this you will fight against this because you void of understanding I wouldn't follow none of these Joe knuckleheads that you call <laughs> some preacher these Johnny come lately 
devil just led by a spirit of error. That's right. When you got the spirit of error, you're running around yelling the blood of yeah. Jesus, the blood. the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Not here. Not here. Not here. That's right. Not here. I say, I say, not here. That's right. Thank God I'm going to give you Bible chapter and verse. What blood is for? In the book of Ephesians chapter 1. All right. And at verse 7. Follow me in the Bible. In Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 7. I'm going to show you what blood is for, viewers. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. In whom we have redemption through his blood. In whom we have redemption redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sin the forgiveness of sin according to the riches of his grace when they pierced him in the side out came blood and water and water Thank God, that blood was shed for us to be redeemed. That's right. Amen. For the washing away of our sins to That's connect right. us back with him. That's right. Amen. The Bible said in Hebrews 9.22. And almost all things. And then after Hebrews 9.22, I want to connect with Acts 2.38. Almost right. all things. And almost all things are by the law. Almost all things are by the law. Purged with blood. with blood. And without shedding of blood. Without the shedding of blood it is no there remission. is no devils cast out and without shedding of blood is no remission no no remission of what and, that's it. and without shedding of blood is no remission no without shedding of blood there is no devils cast out and without shedding of blood is no remission without shedding of blood there is no healing and without shedding of blood is no remission well somebody may say well pastor you know wait a minute there wasn't nobody healed before jesus shed blood you fool before jesus shed blood he went around healing that's right huh that's right before jesus even walked the earth by the power of god and the prophets folks was healed that's right but then there was no blood shed amen all right now without the shedding of blood there's no remission no remission now let me show you what remission mean and remission that's... mean removing removing of your sins that's right now on acts bless god uh 238 then peter said unto them then peter said to them repent all right that's what you got to do now mm -hmm. when you got the right zeal and you led by the spirit that leads you right to this scripture here that's right when you want to be right and want to be bible right you are get away from these men that's leading you to hell mm -hmm. these men are leading you to hell men and women leading you right to hell that's right bad information poison information mm -hmm. rotten information mm -hmm. information that's no good information that give you false hope false ideas false beliefs that's right. and i must say many are loyal they don't even care many don't even care if you tell them what's right that's true what they've been taught, they're so loyal to it. Yeah. They're so committed to it. They turn their back on what is right. And uh, I believe one scripture says where God says, mm -hmm. they turn to me the back and not the face. Not the face. And then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized. And be baptized. Every one of you. For what? In the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And what did the apostle Paul tell us? And without shedding of blood is no remission. That's what the shedding of blood is for. That's right. So your sins can be remitted. That's right. Sins can be washed away. Amen. So the apostle said, why tarry us down? What you right. waiting for? Get up, arise, be baptized, washing away thy sins, calling upon the name of the Lord. Oh, Lord. Remember what the word of God said. Back in Being Romans. led by the Spirit. Listen at this. Back in Romans chapter 8 and verse 14. And for as many as are led by the Spirit as of God. As many that are led by the spirit of god by the spirit of god the scriptures of god the words of god the function of god what are they they are the sons of god they are the sons of god meaning they are the servants of god that's right Bears, that's stop right. letting these liars lead you Amen. amen stop letting your mother lead you stop letting your father your husband your daughter your child leading you and yet they're leading you with a misunderstanding devil down in their soul that's right. eh? don't run ahead of the book that's it. stay in back of it that's right stay in back of god led by the spirit led by remember when you're led by something you're not in front of it that's right that's right you're not in front of it Lead. Led by the follow the leader. That's it. Follow the leader. That's right. Follow the leader. That's right. 
follow the lead what is the leader here for as many as are led by the spirit of god they are the sons of god what is the leader there the spirit of god what is the leader many for as many as are led by the spirit of god and if we let god lead us what do what are we called they are the sons of god amen viewer now you judge are you the one of the sons of god or one of the sons of Baal. Amen. You got two gods, three gods, flesh and blood in heaven. Believe you can divorce and all that foolishness. You're not led by the spirit. No. Hereby know the spirit of truth. And the spirit Hereby of and the spirit of error. Go back Amen. to that quickly. Back in First John chapter 4 and verse 6. Uh -huh. We are of God. Ye are of God. He that knoweth he God, that know heareth God, us. Hear us. He that is not of he God, heareth not us. He that is not of God, don't pay us no mind. Hereby know we Hereby the spirit of truth. Hereby know we the spirit of truth. And the spirit, and the spirit of, of error. error. Beloved. Beloved. Let us love one another. Let us love one another. For love Love is of God. Love is of God. And everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. Wait, wait a minute. When you're born of God, you repent of your sins. That's right. You're baptized in the water in the name of Jesus Christ and have the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Come on, viewers. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said before, when this pandemic get better, you that been watching and making promises to yourself, Pastor Jenner, when you come in our area, I've been promising I'm going to come out. Listen. When you hear we coming to your area, you better off setting up a tent before the meeting starts. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Yeah, you know, when Black Friday come, you got people that set up tents That's right. outside of department stores. When you hear this message coming in your area, you ought to get a trailer. Amen. <laughs> and, and be all on the parking lot waiting. Glory to God for the word of God to come in your area. Hallelujah. This is the greatest thing you'd ever hit the earth. It's for your salvation. It's for your protection. It teaches you how not to run ahead of God. That's right. It teaches you to stay in back of God. If I stay in back of God, I stay in my place. That's right. Huh? That's right. If I start running ahead of the scriptures, I get swell headed. Yeah. I get stubborn. I get rebellious. I get, amen, hard head. No one can tell me nothing. But if I stay in back of scripture and let the scripture lead me when, when, listen when god leads you he don't lead you to act like a fool no when god leads you he you gonna conduct yourself right that's right you know when i, I when i go in places and man even if a man is preaching something wrong you won't see me throw my hand up and interrupt him i won't do that that's right why because i'm gonna conduct myself right but disagree with you and want to talk to you. You don't read where the apostles done that. No, when didn't. the apostles went somewhere, if there was false teaching, they didn't jump up and threw their hand out. Right. No, they didn't no. do that. No, no, no. They sat there and then dealt with you at the appropriate time. That's Sometimes right. when I go places, men throw their hand right up and, and, and said the Lord led and the Lord and lead you to do nothing. nothing. Amen. You come on back to Bible, liar. That's liar. Right. We used to say as a kid, liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> yeah. right. Amen. And I'm going to tell you one day, there's going to be some fire. Oh, yeah. Wrapped around you for telling those lies on God. Viewers, if you don't want to lie on God, stay in your place. Don't run ahead of the Bible. Follow the word of God. Let God lead you. And the way God leads you, you got to learn of him. That's it. Jesus said the error, not knowing the scripture, know the power of God. That's why it's not wise to go jump, amen, and just go follow some old nut that jump up and said God spoke to him. Amen. And before you know it, the preacher tell you, the Lord told me to tell everybody to drain your bank account. Remember, remember when how Captain was living? That's right. Remember when how Captain was living? How Captain was led by the devil from hell, God knows. How Captain said that the Lord is coming in judgment day, I believe it's going to come in November and October and all that stuff. And then all of his followers who was dumb and deceived by the devil, they drank their bank accounts, they sold all their possessions, they sold their house. But how Captain didn't sell nothing and how Captain didn't drain his account because how Captain knew it wasn't going to happen. I'm taking this route to show you how loyal blind buffoons are and how dangerous it is to walk around ignorant and blind they sold their houses they sold their cars they drank their bank accounts 
because, well, they did know that they wouldn't need none of that stuff in the resurrection, but the resurrection didn't come. And, uh, and when that day came and left, uh, there was news reporters interviewing them and asked them, how you feel that it didn't happen? And how Captain Follows just standing there saying, we're devastated. Uh -huh. They were devastated and broke. Yeah. But how Captain wasn't devastated, he wasn't devastated and still rich. That's true. Viewers, this is why we take our time by God's permission. Break down the scriptures, itemize them, hook them up together, let it to show you how the train runs. Right. Stay behind the scriptures. Right. Don't run. Uh, I don't care if, if you think God is using you so much. Every time you walk, you tremble. <laughs> every time you every time you make a step you just tremble <laughs> yeah? and then you stop and then you step with your other foot and then you tremble <laughs> and, and that's all right that's all right <laughs> amen and someone said what you doing i'm walking with fear and trembling and uh, uh, you ain't nothing but a shaking fool that's, That's all you are. That's shake, 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 I said. You's a shaking fool. You better come on back to battle, you overzealous infidel. And get behind the book. That's it. Let the book stay in front of you. That's it. Listen, there are many people that have done some dumb things. Oh, yeah. Being overzealous. When you're overzealous, it'll make you get up and walk off a job. The Lord told me to leave my job. You over there. That's right. Why? You over there is because you hear the scripture says, forsake not the assembly yourself together as a man of some is. All right. And you read that scripture. Man, the Bible tells me don't forsake the assemble myself, but do it more because the Lord is coming. And then you go to your employee. Listen, I got to be at church every time the door is open. I can't work. My Lord. And then you leave your job. Yeah. You overzealous. Overzealous. Because now there's another scripture that said, you, you, "If a man don't work, you don't eat." Don't eat. That's right. So you got to balance out the scripture. Yeah. Huh? That's right. Balance it out. That's right. Don't work. Don't eat. Don't eat. That's right. When you're overzealous, you won't wear no more clothes. <laughs> Amen. Lord. Don't say what, Pastor Jennings? <laughs> I remember years ago, you know, in, in, in the scriptures, the Bible talks about how God moved on Isaiah in one place. Right. Didn't it? Yeah. And told Isaiah to walk the street naked right. as a sign. <laughs> hey, Amen. When you're over Isaiah, you're going to thank you, Isaiah. You're going to be out streaking. Walking around here, talking about you the sign to the world. That's right. Do you see what I'm telling you? In the book of Isaiah chapter 20. Let, let me show you this in the Bible. Isaiah chapter 20, we'll start at verse 2. Quickly. At the same time spake the Lord by Isaiah the son of Amos. Yes. Saying, Go and loose the sackcloth from off thy loins. Uh -huh. And put off thy shoe from thy foot. Yes. And he did so walking naked and barefoot. See, when you're over there, you would think God told you to do it. <laughs> right. No, God told Isaiah, Isaiah to do it. That's right. Read on. At the same time spake the Lord by Isaiah the son of Amos, saying, Go and loose the sackcloth from off thy See, God garments. didn't tell Pastor Jenny to go take my suit off and take my shoes off and go walk around North Philly, Huntington Park, and Lindley Avenue and buck naked. No. Huh? No way. God didn't tell you. Did he tell you that, William? No, he didn't. Did he tell you? No, no. I, I didn't get caught up in that, Pastor. It sounds funny, but that's what overzealous is too. That's right. I remember we had a sister here. She she passed on. She read the scripture. Nigga, you came into the world. Nigga, you shall return. Lord. Next thing I know, I got a call that she was arrested. She was downtown streaking. Mm. She took off all her clothes. I mean everything. Walking the street, buck nigga. Walking, quoting the scriptures. Nigga, you came in the world. Nigga, you shall return. We brought nothing into the world, and it's quite evident uh, we ain't gonna take nothing out. Uh huh. Uh, and they had to commit her. Mm. You see what I'm saying? My Lord. The Holy Ghost do not behave itself how? Unseemly. 
Tell him, say what Pastor Jennings, wasn't Isaiah acting unseemly? No, Isaiah was acting under the order of the Lord. Let's read some more of that quickly. And the Lord said. Come on, son. Read I quick. Isaiah chapter 20, now read verse 3. Yes. And the Lord said. And the Lord said. Like as my servant Isaiah hath walked naked and barefoot three years for a sign and wonder upon Egypt and upon Ethiopia. Yes. So shall the king of Assyria lead away the Egyptians prisoners and the Egyptians captives. That's what it represent. Right. It represent the king that will lead away Lead those away. and put them in bondage for right. that same period of time. That's right. That's right. What do you mean? What do nakedness represent? How the, they were being bondage and stripped of everything. That's right. That's what that meant. That's right. That's right. Now do you see what I'm telling you? Amen. Over Zayus, you got a zeal. Not according to not knowledge. according to knowledge. Not you better hear the old troublemaker now. Amen. You better listen that this advice from the Lord. Oh, this yeah. is the Lord's advice. Take your time. That's right. Take your time. Don't get in a hurry. Leave your false churches. The reason why you need to leave your false churches because these dumb teachers have you doing things out of overzealousness. That's right. They push you too much, yeah. and you don't win past the bible that's right that's past right. the bible that's right they don't even know how to anoint with oil men taking the whole bottle of oil pouring it over your head and running all down your face looking like a greasy chicken huh that's <laughs> looking like someone that just got finished eating chicken or been dipped in crisco <laughs> thinking you got the anointing that's right you fool. That's a fool. You sow the seed of the devil. All right. Then Peter said to them. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Oh, this is a good lesson. Come mm -hmm. on back at four o'clock. Now I want to say to all the saints of headquarters, God willing. Uh, I mean, keep, keep listening out for the announcement. We're going to uh, get back on the right schedule for Tuesday and get back on the right schedule for Thursday and back on the right schedule for Sunday. And we, we'll, we'll let you know that. Amen. We'll let you know that. Amen. And when we get back on the right schedule for Sunday, that going to change my webcasting time. Amen. Because I believe the public then got spoiled by these good messages coming every week. Amen. And I and I and I and I, and I got to feed them good. And I mean feed them good. I greet all of our brothers and sisters throughout Africa. Amen. The African uh, areas, they're able they starting to open back up now. So I greet all the saints down in Johannesburg and Kenya and Tanzania and uh, and Mozambique. Amen. Throughout the entire continent of Africa. We thank God for all of you. To, and you that is in Dubai, to all the saints that are in Dubai and in Macedonia and Syria and in Jerusalem, thank God. We thank God for all of you. Come on back. You that are in Europe, we'll be back again at 4 o'clock. I know some time is late in your area, but this is worth staying up for. Amen. Stay up. Set your clock. I know your eyes may be red, but set your clock. Listen. Learn. Get some more of this good thing in you because remember, being overzealous, you can damn yourself and call someone else to be lost. May God keep you, may God preserve you, is our prayer. Peace be unto you, brothers and sisters.